So here we have the Nissan Qashqai on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot you'll see we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a 360 parking camera. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then should you wish to increase that boot space even further, both of these two tray sections lift and remove to give you more boot space underneath. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full leather seats, as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 7,248. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. So at the moment, we have a digital readout for the speedometer being displayed there. You can change that for various different bits of information and eventually you'll get back round to the beginning again. Uh, you can see there you have fuel economy information before we get back to the digital uh, readout for the speedometer. We're back out to the steering wheel. On the left hand side are the buttons I was using just a moment ago. We've also got stereo controls over there. And then on the right hand side, both cruise control and speed limiter, as well as the ability to answer and end uh, incoming phone calls. There is of course, once you paired your phone up, and that is done over on the touch screen in the center. Firstly though, you can see we have DAB, FM, and AM radio. Pairing your phone is done here, and then just hit connect, pair new device, and follow the instructions on screen from there. If you're listening to your own music, you can do that via the CD player, the auxiliary input, the USB input, or you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. So once you pair your phone, not only will you obviously be able to make and receive phone calls, but you can also listen to your music as well. On top of that, this system has satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works on both our website and our Facebook page. And if I pop the car into reverse, we have a 360 parking camera. So the reverse camera just there, and you can hear the parking sensors going off. The bird's eye view image of the car there, and it goes a couple of steps beyond that. If we press the camera button, we get a front facing camera and the bird's eye view, or a front facing camera and the front passenger side wheel. Uh, so with all of those cameras, it does make it very easy to park this car. Beneath that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, the fan speed up and down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. Then hit that button to turn the air conditioning off in this case or back on again or you can hit auto. If you hit auto, the car will now maintain those temperatures by taking full control of the fan speed for you, and you can override that by simply readjusting the fans yourself, as I've just done. Under that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, as well as the electronic handbrake, a six speed manual gearbox, driver and passenger heated seats, and then inside the uh, glove box or the central uh, area, the armrest area, we have a 12 volt charging socket, so a second one of those, as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned previously. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.